What's up everybody? My name is Duena, aka Glamazon 1026 and welcome to the Glam Room. So today's video is really exciting. It's really simple. This is one that is going to be great for the beginners in the Glam fam. If eyeshadow is your Achilles heel, we're going to teach you today how to use one eyeshadow to come up with a bomb look. Like this is a great look. You can go anywhere with this on your face. You can go to work. You can go to the party. You can go to brunch. You can go to dinner. You go to a wedding, you go to a funeral, or a graduation, wherever you want to go. This look is going to take you there, okay? So if you guys want to see exactly how I got this done, stay tuned. Madeline MUA. She decided that she was going to take one shade, which was a black, which is probably one of the hardest shades to blend out because if you blend if you don't blend correctly if you use too much you can end up looking like a panda bear or the babadook and you know that's not cute and she said she's going to take one shadow and she's going to blend it out and she used black um and so then it became a challenge the one shadow challenge and everywhere like all in the beauty community you saw everybody using one shade to blend um to make it make a complete eyeshadow look it's not it's not technically difficult to do it some people still struggle with eyeshadow and i thought that this was a good way to get people who are on the beginner level of eyeshadows into it so they can see i don't always have to wear brown with like a little shimmer right there or just go bare eyeballed um, because I'll be able to use different shades that I have in these palettes that I may or may not have accumulated and get a complete look. So the, so this is how this video came about. Actually it came about because I was going out with one my, with my friends and I told my sister, I was on the phone with her or, or FaceTiming her while I was doing my makeup and I said, well girl, I'm just going to put this one shadow on my eye, put on some lashes and head out the door. She was like, ooh, teach me how to do that. So here I'm teaching her and you guys how to do that. So um, now, remember at the beginning of the summer, I told y'all that we are going to be glowing all summer. That's the name of the game is glow. For old time sakes, I'm going to throw it back to my Violet Voss hashtag pro palette because I really like this palette and I haven't used it in a while. So we're going to blow, we're going to throw it back out. Okay. I already primed my lids with the concealer that I use to highlight my under eye areas and I set it with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter setting powder in the shade Honey. The good thing about one shadow looks is that you only need one brush and I like to choose a bigger denser fluffier brush um, as opposed to like a small brush because you get a lot of surface area with a little bit of effort so we're gonna use this brush this big fluffy brush and we're gonna pick up TBT we're gonna pick up a lot of it on this and then we're just going to start placing it down on our lid now with this you want to make sure that you're putting a lot of the pigment close to the lid because that's where we want the concentration of pigment to go right we want it to diffuse as we get higher up towards the brow bone look at that already just pretty it's so pretty this video is about to be three seconds long because we're almost done And now, since I have it to the concentration that I want, I'm going to use the tip of the brush, which still has a little bit of pigment on it, but not that much. We're not dipping back into the product. I'm just going to use the tip of it and just blend it out in small circles. And look at that. We're done. Now, I know I said that this is one shadow, and we're going to keep it one shadow, but if you wanted to go like the extra mile, you can get a darker color, like a darker purple, and put it right here on the lid, and that'll give it an extra dimension. But you don't have to do all of that, because we're, we're only using one shadow, so we're finished, right? So we're done with this, and we're going to go on to this other eye. It's funny because I got addicted to you when we were in love, and even though you broke it off a struggle, with it like you were a bottle of pills, I this eye always comes out better than this eye when I don't do them together. Like if I do them separately, the second eye always comes out better. I don't know why. I like this shape better. So now we're just going to finish off the eye. I'm going to do under the lower lash line and then probably put some highlighter in my corners and on my brow bone. And then pop some lashes on, get some lipstick, and we're done. That's it, that's all. 
Now I'm using my Becca Gold Lava Pressed Highlighter as an underbrown, underbrown, underbrow highlight. While I'm waiting for my lashes to dry, I'm going to be using the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara to just pull these lashes out. So these lashes are the Aria Lash by Bercari Cosmetics. These are some really great lashes. I've been using these a lot, even in looks that they don't match. <laughs> Like, I might need a bigger lash for it, but I don't care. I'm going to wear this lash because I love it so much. And you don't have to put a lash on if you're doing a one shadow look. Um, you know, I just like doing this because of, you know, filming it gives it more impact. And usually if I'm going out, I don't go out without a lash because my real lashes are trash. Trash buckets. Look at that. How pretty is that? So I'm gonna finish up this face. We're gonna put on some highlighter and some lipstick and then we'll wrap it up. So I know that a lot of people come to me and uh, I mean, well not a lot. I know that I have quite a few subscribers and quite a few people watch the videos and I don't know what skill level everybody is at that subscribes to this channel. But I wanna make sure that I stuck to what I started this channel for, which is trying to help people who don't know the basics of how to do their makeup, who wanna learn the basics of how to do their makeup, trying to get it to a point where they feel comfortable enough to go and do a full face. When I, when I started, I was literally pulling at straws and just buying things and trial and error and I wanted to make this easy for you guys. So um, with that being said, this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to give me a thumbs up down below if you like this. Uh, if you do a one eyeshadow look, like a whole face, make sure you tag me in it. Also, don't forget to follow um, Makeup by Madeline. Uh, she's really dope. She's really awesome. She does some intricate looks, but they're all very attainable. Like if you look at her, if you look at her, the the tutorials and the pictorials that she does, they look amazing and they look like they took a lot of effort and like a lot of colors, a lot of shades, but she makes them really simple so that everybody can do it. So make sure you go follow her. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on my notifications so that you'll be a part of the Glam Fam and know exactly when I upload. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Glamazon1026 and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, so move. Oh, I feel like that dude from, um...